Hi everyone, I am Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner. And today I want to talk to you about artificial sweeteners. And I want to talk about the symptoms that artificial sweeteners cause. And then I'm going to give you some alternatives for artificial sweeteners that won't cause those symptoms. So artificial sweeteners are NutraSweet, Sweet and Low, Splenda, and a lot of people are consuming them because they're in a lot of different products these days. You'll find them in soda and gum and other different beverages and people will add them to their coffee and tea. So in 1981, the FDA approved the use of artificial sweeteners. And since then, the FDA has gotten a lot of different complaints from people for symptoms that they've had and conditions that the artificial sweeteners have caused. So after, I think, about 8,000 complaints, they made a list of 92 side effects of artificial sweeteners. So you can Google all of the different side effects that they cause, but it is just a lot of different things like headaches, chronic fatigue, migraines, um, joint pain, it will damage your kidneys. Um, it has been shown to be linked with Alzheimer's, MS, lupus. So it can have a really bad effects on your body. So you really want to stay away from these sweeteners. And many people use them because they think that using them is going to help them with weight loss or it's going to help them um, reduce their cravings for sweets, but it really isn't true. The opposite has been shown. So when you use artificial sweeteners, they actually increase your cravings for sweet food and they have actually been shown to cause you to have weight gain. So you don't want to use them if you're trying to lose weight because it's going to have the opposite effect. And they also change your taste buds. So you're going to be having more of a taste for the artificial sweeteners and you're going to develop a, an, an um, adverse taste for naturally sweet things that you should be eating like fruit. So. It is my suggestion that you replace artificial sweeteners with raw organic honey, which has a lot of different health benefits, but it has to be raw organic honey and local honey is the best. And um, you can also use maple syrup. So maple syrup has a lot of antioxidants in it. So that's a healthy alternative. So. Ultimately, you don't want to have a lot of sugar in your diet, but if you want to switch to something that is healthier, I do recommend those two things. And if you have any questions about that, please just leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. And if you are looking for um, some information about diet and chronic fatigue or gastrointestinal issues, um, joint pain, headaches, things like that. If you want more information, I am doing a free webinar on Wednesday, March 28th at 7 o'clock p.m. So you can register for that. I put the link in the comments in the description of the video. I mean, so you can just go register for that and you will get a lot of great information there. So I hope everyone has a great day.